guys this is Tina welcome back to my channel so I have dug out um, a whole bunch of other scraps and things because although I'm using obviously things on my desk I don't want every page to look the same and obviously a lot of things are you know very similar because they're things that I have been obviously working on so these were other things that I have been working on that were behind me um, in yet another pile of scraps so I've just pulled all of these in so that we've got a little bit more variety to play with and we're just going to carry on obviously with our um, really nice you know collage book that we're making our collage scrapbook um, so oops my pages are now getting a bit stuck together just separate them out there we go so I'm just going to continue in the same um, way that we have been doing just let me see whether I'm in frame and filming. I've moved my thingamajiggly slightly. Let me just lift it up slightly more. Okay. Just takes a while, doesn't it, to get things, you know, when you change equipment and things. Um, right, so just going to continue on. So, brought in some more book page. Actually, what I might do is just just tear a little bit down so I've got you know plenty ready to go and actually I noticed that I've started every single page that I've done I've started over here in the corner or you know in a corner so I thought it might be fun to mix things up and um, start in the middle I don't know why but for some reason I haven't really you know I yeah I just have never really started in the middle Whenever I've done a collage, I've always tended to start on the edge. So I just thought it would be fun to, um, you know, see how starting somewhere completely random affects the outcome, whether it, it changes up a bit. So there we go. Let's get my wipe. Obviously, I probably won't do every page with you guys because, my gosh, you will be so sick of um you know <laughs> sick of the sight of me and obviously you know how much fun is this going to be for people to watch every single page come together um i don't want to just you know bore people completely so um yeah i probably won't do every page on video but having said that you know i don't know about you guys but i kind of figure well i don't have anything else to be doing at the moment well i mean i do have obviously the homeschooling thing um but aside from that my life's pretty, pretty much, you know, at home. I should be, should be utilising this time really and kind of getting on top of any mess in my house. But of course, I'm not really doing that because how much fun would that be? Not, not a lot is all I can say. Um, so yeah, I, you know, I probably will do a couple of pages off on my own just to spare you guys um you know watching the entire thing and then um you know we'll do some more pages together again let's just have a look oh i also bought in some book page that i had so this is um language of flowers books i think it was called and i just this is like the um index page at the back but how lovely is that so just going to incorporate a bit of that I think in here as well just get rid of that border because I don't necessarily want the border on there although who knows maybe I will um maybe I will wish that I had but yeah we'll just just glue in randomly um you know the, i've been thinking about this book as well and um ooh, you know i just think this would be i mean not that people are obviously going anywhere at the moment because we're all obviously at home but this would also be really great for doing one of these to take you know like for crafting on the go like if you were going on holiday or anything like that because you could obviously make up one of these books and then just take it away on holiday with you just with a little folder of like um you know fussy cut pieces and things like that to be able to build your your pieces up from so all you then need is obviously 
this book and a little folder of pieces. So, you know, like say my curator's collection folders, you could just fill a couple of these with little fussy cut pieces and take this folder and some glue and you'd be sorted, wouldn't you, for, um, you know, a bit of crafting on the go. So I think it's going to be quite a handy thing to have. So I hope that you guys will um, will think so too. And certainly, I mean, with regards to to using up stash, it's definitely going to be a good one for that. So yeah, I hope that you guys think it's a nice nice idea and something fun to do. And you know, <laughs> again, I was thinking. I think my biggest issue is actually going to be using this because I know that I've talked about in previous videos how much I'm liking the feel of it already because it feels so tactile and kind of squishy and just really nice. So for me, I think I'm going to have a little bit of a problem actually using it and not holding it. So um, yeah, but I mean, again, you know, you could just just hold it, couldn't you? Because you could use it like a glue book. And this would be your basis of your, your pieces. So, you know, either, either or really. So I think it's a fun thing to do. And of course, you know, you could use all sorts of things, couldn't you? You know, any old wallpaper, you could incorporate old wrapping paper and things. Anything at all that you have laying about, you could just incorporate. Oops. Oh, that's not quite big enough. I've now got a little gap there. That's annoying. Well, let's just put this one. Oh, no, I don't want that there. Right, let me just see whether I've got another something that I can just pop on here as well. Oh, I've got some of the this postage stamp. Um, it's a vintage book of like postage stamp uh, illustrations, I guess. I mean, it sounds a bit weird, but yeah, it's um, it's a catalogue, I guess, a catalogue of you know postage stamps. But it's a really nice book, so. Um, and I love the pages in it. They're just gorgeous. So again, just like perfect for adding to these collage pages. Just trying to tuck that under there a bit. There we go. Okay. I love that. Um, that image I don't know why but yeah just looks really nice that that image with the sort of curly bit there uh -huh. I'm starting to muck about now starting to overthink this why is that happening why why is that happening I wonder I was kind of doing okay and then just suddenly went into like overthinking mode. There we go. Yeah, so I hope that everybody's doing okay and, um, you know, hope that you're finding some fun things to do whilst you're in and at home. Let's just tear this down. And then hopefully it might just fit better, a little bit better. Yeah, I have to say I was looking at the mess that is my wardrobe this morning and I thought, oh, what am I doing? Why am I doing more craft videos? I should really utilise this time to like have a big sort out of, you know, my wardrobe and oh, my daughter's wardrobe and like, oh, you know, those awful kitchen cupboards that... <laughs> I'm sure we probably all have the um, dreaded in our in our house. It's the dreaded Tupperware cupboard. Um, when 
literally you open the cupboard and oh my gosh you name it it drops out and um yeah like obviously i mean i'm i hope tupperware is called the same thing in every country and people know what i'm talking about but you know basically the paper uh, paper the plastic you know containers that you take your lunch out with um we call it tupperware i don't know whether it's called other things in other countries but um yeah i mean oh our tupperware cupboard it's just hideous like such a mess i have to say and um obviously it's one of those cupboards that you have to go to frequently because obviously you know every time we go out for a picnic or anything like that we are obviously going to that cupboard to put things in tupperwares or like my son if he's like you know packing up his lunch for work or you know all those kinds of things but of course nobody really wants to actually dare go to that cupboard because it's so horrible because as soon as you open the cupboard stuff starts falling out of it and it's just like a nightmare so yeah and we've probably all got cupboards a bit like that haven't we well i like i like to think that i'm not not alone in that so yeah ours is the tupperware cupboard and um yeah really i should kind of have a day not filming at all and just go and actually tidy up my my Tupperware cupboard, my wardrobe, my daughter's wardrobe. Oh, everywhere. Everywhere that is a bit of a mess. I mean, touch wood, other than my craft area, the rest of the house is reasonably tidy. On the surface, um, it's once you venture into cupboards that it all starts toppling on onto you. Because I'm very much of the, oh well, you know, out of sight nobody can see it it's fine but yeah I mean that's probably not not really the best way to think of it is it <clears throat> I wonder if we could just bring a bit of that green in that we had yesterday well it might not be yesterday I guess um, you know depends how these videos are uploaded but I might just fill that little space there with the green yeah um yeah so i like to try and keep things kind of tidy on the surface but you know pretty messy in the cupboards well i guess it's better that way than you know messy on the surfaces and in the cupboards which of course you know it could easily be sorry just fidgeting around on my chair I think I need to um, change my rubbish bag because it's getting a little bit full. So it's just constantly, you know, my my legs constantly hitting it. Yeah, the more I'm working in this, actually, the more the more ideas that I'm having for this. So. Um, I really hope that you guys, you know, can see lots of possibilities with this as well and think it's a nice, nice thing to do. Okay, let's just, oops. Don't worry, I have plenty of bottles of glue. I bought, I think it was I bought three bottles, you know, when obviously it was looking like we were going to go into some sort of lockdown. And, um, yeah, I've got them in the cupboard so ready to go because obviously you know they are like an essential item aren't they glue to us crafters it's it's like up there with toilet roll you know which obviously there's been a run on toilet roll I think actually in every country I don't think it's just here you know when you read people's comments I think that's been the case everywhere I mean, I've read lots of things where people are like, oh, I don't think it causes you know, tummy troubles. But um, I think it's just that, you know, when you've got a family, you go through a lot of toilet roll without tummy troubles even coming into the equation. You know, kids are 
extremely extravagant when it comes to using toilet paper, aren't they? So, yeah, luckily we were able to buy, you know, quite a bit of toilet roll. You know, like, I think we bought like two or three of the nine or the 12 roll packs. So hopefully we've got quite a bit to keep us going. Um, yeah. Oops. Okay. Right, just trim this down. So I'm just kind of putting the book so as I can get in here to be able to cut that down. Just to trim off around the edge of the page. And again, you know, don't worry if it's a little bit wonky because when you come to use the pages, it won't really matter. Just trim off down the side. There's not actually too much hanging over on this page on this side. Just one or two bits. Oops. Let me just clear my my bits away. Okay. There we go. Now where did I see a bit? There we go. Just pop a little bit more glue on there. There we go. I love how that looks. What gorgeous colours on that page. Just looks so pretty. I hope the camera is kind of really picking that up in its kind of true colours. It, it looks really pretty. Okay, so on we go. Just having a look to see where we are in the book. Oops, my pages are getting a little bit glued together around the edges, but that's fine. You know, they're only kind of slightly glued. Oh, wow, look. We've already made it, like literally, to the, that will be the centre page. So, yeah, and it's such a lovely book to look through. I know I keep saying that and probably very boring to everyone keep hearing me say it, but honestly, it's, um, yeah, really, really nice. Right, so um, I'm just going to have a little drink and then I will be back to do the next page. Okay, I'm back and raring to go for another page. So... I've got this, which I had printed out onto paper bag, and I did this again ages ago. It's been just sat behind my desk for the longest time. So I'm just going to tear that down into like a couple of a couple of strips. Oops. Making a horrible job tearing that one down, aren't I? Now again, why am I trying to hang on to that? I'm like, oh, maybe that will come in handy. I mean, honestly, I have the whole rest of the sheet there and this is just a printout. I can print more. I must stop it. I must stop trying to just hang on to useless rubbish. Right, I'm going to start again in the middle because that was quite, um, you know, a different way to, to do my collage. Um, you know, so, yeah, it's nice to kind of do some, some different things, isn't it? So, again... Just pop that down. I might pop it down here this time rather than, you know, right central in the middle. So again, I just pulled bits from, you know, <laughs> very deep down on the, on the pile. I've got this, which again, this was some scrapbook paper, but it's gorgeous, isn't it? So I might just tear that down and just incorporate that in here I think again I mean actually this is quite thick but you know that's fine I mean if it's thick you probably just want to apply a bit of extra glue and as I say that the glue is now now playing up Yeah, it's really nice just, um, you know, selecting just completely random things, I guess, um, and not having any sort of plan in mind as to how I'm going to do the things, the, you know, decorate the pages or anything like that. Because sometimes I think it's easy to get a little bit, you know, obsessed and... Um, or, you know, a bit, um, what's the word? Well, I don't know what the word is really, but, you know, 
What am I trying to say here? Well, it's nice to see the scraps going down, I guess. I mean, that's one one point there. Nice to see the scraps going down and um, yeah, nice to not have a plan. And again, just be using all these random things that otherwise have just sat, you know, unused, forgotten, buried. Right, might be time to open another tube of glue in a moment. Look, there is still some to be had in here. And obviously I don't want to waste anything at this time where things are precious, because although I have, you know, I did buy obviously extra glue, depending on how long we're shut in for, maybe three, three tubes maybe won't last very long, who knows. <clears throat> and where I normally buy them from, I don't know whether that particular shop is, is open now. I mean, obviously I haven't been going to the shops, you know. Um, and, you know, it's a shop called The Range here in the UK. And so I'm guessing that that would not be considered a, you know, an essential shop, which at the moment it's only essential shops that should be opening, you know, like pharmacies or grocery shops. So, yeah, I'm guessing that that particular shop would not be open. And I noticed that Amazon, um, I mean, don't get me wrong, thank goodness for Amazon because they're so handy, aren't they? But very naughtily, they have put the prices up on lots of things, which, you know, come on, Amazon. I mean, I'm sure that you are probably making a lot of extra cash here at the moment anyway. And although you are providing people with, uh, you know, a really incredible service, I mean, come on, there's no need to actually now rip people off and exploit the situation, I think. So, um, yeah, I think that's that's a little bit naughty, to be honest, is how I think of um, when places do things like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, they probably... I know that they were looking for extra delivery drivers and all that kind of stuff so maybe they're trying to cover extra costs and things like that but having said that you know they are obviously I assume selling a lot more stuff so technically their costs would be like covered anyway wouldn't they because obviously their you know their sales I presume are probably going you know through the roof um yeah so I think that's a bit naughty when they're exploiting the situation further I think that's unnecessary but yeah so I mean although I could probably get this glue on there although I say that I maybe can't because the three in one yeah so um the price of the three in one they had already put that up and you know I obviously didn't want to be ripped off and buy it I think it was sold out at first, if I recall, and then when it came back, it was, um, you know, more money. So I didn't want to buy it because I felt that they were, you know, ripping people off. But anyway, I then looked on there yesterday or the day before because I thought, oh, you know, I am quite missing having that three in one. So I'm going to just have to pay the price now and buy it regardless. And I looked on there and now it's sold out again. So... You know, I guess it's like supply and demand, isn't it? So, you know, if they can get away with charging more and there seems to be a need for things, I guess they, you know, they're going to make full use of doing that. But it is, you know, I think it's naughty, to be honest, when they do things like that. Because I just think, I'm sure you're making enough anyway. I don't think you really need to be, you know, exploiting the situation like that. But, but hey, you know, I guess it is what it is. And at the end of the day, you know, if we want to have these things and Amazon's the only place that's selling them at the moment, then I suppose, you know, who can blame them? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, normally I would be the first to sing Amazon's praises because they're just so handy, aren't they? And just literally save you such a, you know, chunk of time and effort. And, you know, they do have the most incredible service. 
talking of which, I just heard the doorbell go, so that's probably an Amazon delivery arriving right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I would normally be the first person to kind of sing their praises, but in this particular instance, I just think that's a bit naughty. I don't know why I've stuck that there, to be honest. I didn't really want it there. I think I wanted it further over, but... Never mind, I was obviously busy waffling on about <laughs> about Amazon and then just totally then lost track really of, you know, where I wanted to place that, so never mind. So I'm going to pop that there. Let's find some of that stampy book again. Oops. So I finally did go out of the house yesterday. Um, <clears throat> Again, I'm filming these videos ahead, so I don't know when this video will be uploaded. But yeah, I finally did go out of the house yesterday. It was my first time of going out since the since the light like, lockdown thing was put in place, and um, I just kind of felt like I did need to go out and get a bit of fresh air and exercise because, and I know I talked about you know this in the last video, but I just feel like if you you know, or if I don't, I may cause myself more issues afterwards because I then will, you know, find the whole going out thing very overwhelming. So I just went out on my bike for half an hour. I didn't talk to anybody. Um, if I had to cycle past people, I gave them a very wide berth. Um, I mean, I did obviously smile at one or two people, but you know, kind of like, yeah where I had to cycle past anybody I literally went like into the middle of the road or you know I didn't go anywhere near them so but I mean it's weird because you literally feel like frightened of people and you know I mean in the nicest sense of the word but you know kind of not frightened of people but frightened you know when going past those people you're like oh no, it's people, you know, I, I hope they're okay, I hope they haven't got anything, you know. Um, but I just needed to go out and get some sort of sanity, really. Oh, right, time to open another glue. Must give up now. And you know what I should do now is take the top off that and wash it out and keep the top because that was... That was pretty much a successful top, so I must try and remember to do that after this video. What do we think? Am I likely to remember that? Something tells me no. Um, yeah, anyway, so I might go out for another bike ride today because, I mean, definitely that whole exercise thing, I mean, it really does do you, you know, a bit of good, doesn't it? So my daughter's been out a couple of times, my eldest son, when he's gone out like either for his walk or his run, if he's just gone for a walk, the last couple of times he's taken her with him on her scooter so that she's had a bit of fresh air. Um, yeah, I mean, unfortunately I couldn't really take her on the bike because I haven't got like a bike seat or anything for her because she's outgrown her bike seat and obviously we were going to buy her one of those tagalongs this year. You know, but I mean, obviously the weather wasn't like bikey weather when the shutdown happened. So we weren't like at the stage of buying one. And obviously now everywhere's shut down. So still, still no chance of buying one. Um, yeah. And I mean, she has got a little bike and, you know, she does like going on it. But obviously, um, I, you know, I didn't really want to kind of go out with her and then be worrying about her going near people. So she's better off on her scooter. And of course, obviously that's then not really very sensible if I'm biking and she's scooting. So, um, yeah. But anyway, so she has been getting out and getting a bit of exercise, which is good for her, you know. So I hope that everybody else is still staying well, staying safe. 
I mean, I know I said this in the last video, but oh, again, I just think we are so lucky to have this craft community, you know, and um, and this as a hobby, to be fair, you know, because obviously this would be a really boring, I'm thinking, you know, if you didn't have a hobby, it would be really driving you to a distraction, I suspect, being just in. So, yeah, I think we're very lucky. And actually, I keep thinking I'm going to join in with a couple of the challenges that are going on. Um, I am going to. It's you know, it's in my mind to do it and, you know, no better time is there than to join in some of those challenges now. Um, it's just that obviously I was going to join in soon and then I woke up obviously with this little idea kind of floating around in my mind and, you know, when you can't then put something out of your mind until you've done it, it was like that. So, um, yeah, once I've kind of completed this, then I'm going to join in with a couple of the challenges because I know there's like a Margaret Miller challenge I think her name is Margaret Miller I don't think she has a YouTube I think she's like on Facebook and Instagram maybe maybe not even Instagram I'm not sure um, but I've heard lots of people talking about it I've heard Rachel doing the challenge and I know that Joanne from Junk Journal Treasures um, I know that she's done some of her challenges as well. They look really super fun. So um, she kind of like picks five things. I mean, actually, I could probably incorporate it into this book. Um, yeah, she picks five things and then the collage that you do, you know, is supposed to incorporate five things. The, fi the five things that she specified. So it sounds very fun thing to do. Um, and then I know that Amy from Crafty Cat, she's doing like a, a bit like the three in 30, but hers is a, I, I don't think it's a sort of six in 60 actually. I think it's like just a 60 minute challenge, but it's a color challenge. So um, yeah, I think she's doing that. I don't think you have to do a set amount of items, um, but I might be wrong. I Unfortunately, I didn't really seem to catch her original video where she first talked about it. I just have like picked it up, you know, um, since then, kind of seeing her do one or two of them. So I don't, you know, I've not heard the initial rules of that one, um, but that sounds really fun. And I mean, I love colour, so for me, that's right up my street because um, an excuse to use all different colours will be really fun. So yeah, I'm hoping to join in that one as well. And hers is not a collage one. Margaret Miller, I think that's an actual collage challenge. Whereas Amy's, I think, is not a... Oh, I've, I've got this lone butterfly now. Where should we put that, should we pop that in there? Do you know, I might just keep that and um, I could even fussy cut that out and pop that somewhere. Again, why am I keeping this? What is wrong with me? Right, <laughs> let me trim around this page. Just trim, just trim across the top. Okay, and then just trim this page down here, which again, I mean, I probably would be better off turning it round. So hold on. Yeah, I think the beauty of this book is, um, you know, if you say you know, did want to do like TV crafting or, or if, you know, you were lacking a bit of mojo or anything. 
I mean, you could just flick through and then, you know, you're going to be inspired by the different colours and feels of the of the pages. So, um, yeah, I, I think this is going to be really fun. Right, so that's another page. Let me check that I'm still filming, still in frame and all that, that jazz. So we'll do another page. Now, unfortunately, I've stopped the video a couple of times. So I, again, have lost track completely of where we're up to time wise so have i got anything beside me no uh, just having a look i've got my ipad sat beside me so let me just check oh, i don't know what time i started i thought oh i'll have a look and see what the time is but no because i didn't really look at what time it was when we started never mind right so i have this now so again let's just tear that down white okay. yeah so I might go out again today um, I might go out for a walk myself and you know take my daughter out on her scooter um, unless my son is just going for a walk in which case you know he will take her out on her scooter and then I'll go out on my bike. So, um, yeah, just depends whether he's walking or running. Um, oh, I have to say it was really hard work because it was actually really windy when I went out on my bike. And it was the first time I've used my bike this entire year. Um, you know, I love going out on my bike, but I'm a bit of a fair weather cyclist you know I mean when I call myself a cyclist that's just a joke really I hardly cycle far at all um but yeah and when I do I'm very much a fair weather cyclist so you know if it's if it's even slightly windy I'm like oh no no cycling today or if it's um you know I mean certainly if it looks like rain there's no way I'm going out to my bike um having been caught in the rain really badly when we were in Wales one time, which I think I have talked about before on my channel. So uh, yeah, I only go out when the weather's like really fine and um, you know, really, really okay. So um, yeah, went out on, on my bike, but it was the first time for this entire year. So I think probably like the last time I went out on my, my bike was probably like, Oh, I mean, I couldn't even tell you when, but I don't know, maybe like October or November last year. And, um, you know, when I, when I then got outside, it was really windy. So it was really hard work. So to say I had gone out for exercise was like an understatement because my gosh, was I puffing around on my bike. Yeah, <laughs> you know, kind of like at times I was like, my gosh, who thought this was a good idea? But, um, you know, it was nice to be out. And I cycled past, like, our, um, you know, I mean, I was literally out for half an hour, but I cycled past, like, a couple of food shops. Um, oh, there were people, like, queuing outside still. I guess because, obviously, they're now restricting how many people can go into the shop at one time. So, I mean, I have only seen this obviously on the telly, but it looks like they're like limiting the number of people, which of course is very sensible. Um, but yeah, so then it was like chock-a-block queuing to go into the shop, which I guess is like problematic in itself, isn't it? So, um, yeah. I mean, touch wood, we've got enough to keep us going for a little bit you know, food wise, but, um, and I know that, I mean, I've said this before, but I mean, obviously kids eat a lot of food, don't they? I mean, if it were just me, I'd kind of make do a little bit more, but you know, kids, they're just constantly at the larder cupboard, aren't they? And you know, oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I mean, my daughter constantly is like, oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. 
I mean, I'm sure she can't always be hungry, but she certainly does <laughs> does think she is. Um, so she's constantly there getting food. And my son's, um, my 13 year old, not so bad actually, because he really likes to cook himself something and, you know, just eat like his main meals kind of thing. Um, you know, occasionally he'll have like the old bag of popcorn or something like that to do himself, you know, or like Doritos or something like that to himself. But on the whole, he doesn't really do that. But my eldest son, <laughs> who obviously is at work now, so, well, not now, because he's obviously not working at the moment. But, you know, what I mean is pre-lockdown, he now goes out to work. Um, so, I mean, he's eating all the time, obviously. I mean, he's doing an electrical apprenticeship. So I guess that type of work, it's quite physically demanding and things. And I guess obviously the people that he works with, they probably, you know, eat quite a bit all day long. So he's now got in the mode of, you know, expecting to eat a lot. So he's constantly like eating and I mean, again, he's not really snacking. He's more kind of cooking things. But, um, yeah, certainly you do go through food a lot, you know, compared to obviously if it were just a couple of a couple of adults in the house, you know. Well, I mean, my husband would probably eat quite a fair bit, to be fair, but he doesn't snack as much as the children do. Well, he goes through phases, actually. That's... That's not quite true. He does go through phases where he, I would say he does snack as much as they do. But yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, if the food were just for me, it would be lasting for ages because I'm not like a really big snacker. But, but you know, I mean, children, they do get hungry, don't they? And um, so they, you know, they do need to snack. So, yeah. So I can see why people are obviously, you know, why there's the need to be out shopping a lot. Because, of course, if you've got a house full of kids, you know, um, then there is a need for a lot of food, isn't there? And then, obviously, there's the business of, you know, of course, it's not the food that they want to eat. You know, that's the next, that's the next complaint that, you know... I find that you get is, you know, oh, what? Oh, we've got no X, Y, Z, you know. It's like, well, it is what it is. You're just going to have to eat what's there, I'm afraid. So, yeah. Okay. So when we've been like, oh, what, you know, what should we do to kind of mix it up on a daily basis, you know, and again, I'm probably repeating myself here, so I do apologise, but obviously, obviously there's not a lot going on in my life at the moment, so um, I'm in danger of just constantly waffling and repeating myself, but yeah, so we've been kind of like, oh, what, you know, what should we do to try and mix it up and keep keep things fresh so as we're doing different things oh my eldest son especially he loves monopoly oh and it's one of those games that you know like i don't really ever want to play <laughs> i probably did when i was a child but you know like as an adult it's like oh what monopoly oh no oh so um yeah he's like oh when are we going to play monopoly and i just keep saying oh well when there's a rainy afternoon when there's a rainy afternoon you know um, let's not waste it when there's kind of reasonable weather. We don't want to waste like hours playing Monopoly. So, oh, next time there's a rainy afternoon, that's how we're going to be spending it, is uh, playing Monopoly. Oh. I don't mind Monopoly, but my gosh, doesn't it go on? You know, just really goes on, doesn't it? But to be fair, it's more fun than I expect. You know, like when you do play it, you're like, oh, that was quite fun, actually. It's like the thought of it, I think. It's like, what, Monopoly? Oh, no. But then when you do get playing, it's like, oh, that was quite fun, actually. 
but yeah that's his that's his request or suggestion you know oh that's play monopoly so i can only put that off for so long before i'm then you know forced forced into playing it so we've done like you know a couple of puzzles so far jigsaw puzzles Again, I mean, we don't really tend to do jigsaw puzzles very often, and they're the type of thing that we do, you know, like, hardly ever, um, but just every now and then, you're like, oh, should we do a puzzle? And, um, again, they're one of them things that you do, and you're like, oh, they're really fun, aren't they? We should do those more. So, yeah. I mean, luckily, we do have a lot of board games, um, you know, that we've collected over the years. When my, when my sons were young, luckily, there was a phase where Santa was, like, only buying, you know, board gamey type things. Not, you know, like, the, just the giant plastic toys that kids, you know, never really play with. That they all want to buy but never really play with. So, um... Yeah, luckily we have quite a good stash of board games. So, I mean, aside from Monopoly, they'll all be making an appearance, I think. And again, be pleased that we've got a good supply of board games. There's these games called Orchard Toys that you get here in this country. Um, you know it's a brand I mean of game um, we've got quite a few of those and they're brilliant for especially younger younger children so again I don't know whether they're something that's just here or whether they're everywhere you know universally um, I'm not really sure but they're really great games and I mean they're for sale on Amazon you can get them lots of or or orchard toys they're called games on Amazon so I mean if you have young kids or anything at home they're pretty good I think and they're not like I mean they're not like Monopoly where yeah then committed for the rest of the day they're quite short games and some are quite educational actually as well so um yeah they're quite good there's one called um run run as fast as you can it's obviously based on the gingerbread man the book of you know the story of the gingerbread man and um that's really quite fun you know for like everyone could join in that one even the older kids, it's quite fun because you can, <laughs> you can, uh, what's the word? Um, oh, what's the word? Ah, oh, I can't think of the word, but you know, like you can uh, target, target members of your family in that one. So it's, it's quite fun. That one, it's, uh, yeah, quite a good fun game. So, yeah, if you've got young kids at home, I'd recommend recommend those games. If you were just short of, you know, ideas and running out of, you know, stuff to do or, you know, think, oh gosh, could do with like a couple of board games or something like that, then um yeah, they're they're good ones. As I say, I don't know whether they're just something that we get here or whether they're everywhere. I assume they're probably everywhere, to be honest. Um, but yeah, they're very fun. And another game that's really good, and we've had this for years actually, um, is Bananagrams. It's a bit like Scrabble, but it's um, it's more basic than Scrabble. Which is great because obviously it's more accessible than for everybody. And um, it has less rules. You know, like Scrabble. I mean, I've only ever played Scrabble once or twice, actually. But, um, uh, yeah, Scrabble, I kind of think you need to keep looking up the how many points is that and all that kind of stuff. Where Bananagrams, it's a bit more basic than that. And anything goes. Um, you know, so it's really quite good because everyone has quite a good chance of, you know, doing quite well in it, even younger, 
members of the household. So, yeah, that's a, a fun one to look out for. And again, you know, definitely, I, I think, um, you know, Santa, who shops at Amazon, I hear quite a bit, I think maybe um, has seen theme bananagrams on Amazon. So, yeah. Again, whether or not these types of things would be in amongst those things that have gone up drastically in price or maybe are in short supply now, I don't know, but yeah, definitely we've had a lot of fun with Bananagrams. And again, that's a really nice game because it's all just in this banana shaped pouch. So it's all self-contained, you know, like um, very neat. It's like the size of a banana type thing. Um, so again, it's quite a good travel game because you can just obviously pack it in a little, you know, very tiny bag and it takes up very little space. So yeah, that's quite a good one. Okie dokie. And also, I mean, Bananagrams is also, it's like a, um, you know, adults could play that and have some fun with that too. I mean, obviously, you know, what I'm saying is when I play it, I play it with the children. But equally, if you were just older, you know, or older, older kids perhaps, or, you know, if it was just adults in your household, I think it would be a reasonably fun game too. So, uh, I mean, maybe a little bit on the young side. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, just just quite a fun one, you know. But as I say, I mean, whether or not that would be considered one of the things that they've decided to put the price up on, I'm not sure. You'd hope not, but who knows. Right, so that's another page done. So again, I'm just going to trim around the edges of the page and straight away then it just takes on a much better appearance anyway so let me just get rid of those scraps and start here just trim that down like that and I was thinking also about this book and I thought if you were using something like, say, you know, if you've got like a soft cover um, cookbook or something like that, but maybe your cookbook is like 100 pages, you know, for instance, I mean, I'm not suggesting you use a cookbook that you currently use or that you like recipes from, but you know what I mean? If you've got some sort of book that you don't really use anymore, um, then what you could do if you thought, well, actually, I think that's going to be too big you know, too bulky, too many pages, you can always tear out, um, you know, a few pages so that it then is a more man man manageable size, manageable size. Um, I mean, as I say, this was, I think it was 32 pages, wasn't it? So, I mean, I think this is quite a nice size for this type of thing, but yeah, if you had a book with like 100 pages and you tore out a few, then it would, you know, would be okay. So, yeah. So I hope that you're enjoying this project. I think it's, you know, something really fun to do. I will do a couple of pages, you know, off camera so I'm not just literally doing the same old thing every day. Um, but yeah, and then I'll come back probably and we'll do like another, another page. So, okay guys. Well, I hope you're having fun if you are making one of these and um, I'd love to see pictures and things on Instagram. And yeah, I hope that you will join me next time and share, you know, share a bit more crafting time. So stay safe, everybody, and I will see you guys soon. Thanks, then. Bye.